today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Deadpool. This Deadpool, I believe, is costume in the X Force costume. Spot apologizes. He really doesn't follow a lot of current Marvel titles, but he is featured in a nice, interesting dark gray coloring. It comes with his display base and comes with multiple weapons and accessories. A nice, a nice picture of Deadpool up at the top there. Um, on the back, the same image. Slight read-up says, no job is too dirty, no payday too big for the Merc with a Mouth Deadpool. Look out for the other characters that make up the six-figure set. The figures are U.S. Agent, Punisher, Iron Man, Doctor Doom, Deadpool, and Mystique. Two variants uh, were the Blade. There was a Blade alternative figure to Punisher, and then there was a secondary character to Mystique. Spot picked up actually, Spot bought this entire set from Big Bad Toy Store and ended up getting uh, Punisher and Mystique. Really the two figures that I wanted, I think I really would have preferred also, I think I would have also additionally liked Blade, which I just didn't end up pick a, uh, picking up. Um, one thing that's interesting is that uh, it seemed as if Big Bad Toy Store advertised uh, the figure lot with an alternate red costumed Deadpool. And I haven't been able to really see any images of a red costume Deadpool from this set. As far as I know, it's only the one gray costume Deadpool that we're getting in this line. If you guys have seen them, definitely let me know. I know there was that two-pack Deadpool that came with, what, Warpath? Um, not one that I picked up, but certainly one that I would have liked to have gotten at some point. It's also interesting to note, and I'm kind of getting off topic here, but it kind of seems as if that Doctor Doom is a reuse from a uh, a heavy Fantastic Four Hasbro Marvel Legends line. Um, I know Spots reviewed Doctor Doom, and that kind of looks like it's the exact same figure, but uh, I'll discuss that, obviously, when we have a look at uh, Doctor Doom. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, we are going to get a better look at Deadpool. It's definitely more to come. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Aside from the multiple weapons that Deadpool comes with, he does come with the same display base that came with Iron Man, and also comes with all the rest of the figures from this line. Taking the other display base that came with Iron Man, you can see that the two bases do interlock to some extent. If you want to join them and kind of, depending on how you, depending obviously how much space you have allotted on your shelf, you can kind of connect them in every, in several different ways, um, kind of, you know, Depend, depending on how you want to lay them out, but uh, I, I like how I like the fact that you can do that. I mean, this one here you can connect right away, but um, it's nice. It's not probably my one of my favorite display bases as a whole, but uh, I like that at least it's just something different. Um, I I almost think that Deadpool needs that display base because I'm having a real tough time getting the figure to stand. Also, accessories that come with Deadpool. That before we look at the figure itself. He does come with, you know what, let's just put Deadpool right there and hopefully he will stand. He does come with some sort of rifle. I would say M16 and I would probably be incorrect, but some sort of rifle that he comes with. Some nice paint in the lower barrel section there. Aside from that, it's just a straight matte black. He does also come with two samurai swords or katana swords or whatever style of sword you would like to call them they kind of just look like katana blades but you get two of them luckily as it seems to be a, a running um, trend with deadpool he does come with swords and luckily he does have uh, holders sheaths on the back to hold his swords as well Let me just get those to slide into place just like that so if you don't really necessarily have a place or you don't plan on having Deadpool holding swords, at least they're out of the way. You can also take the, again, I 
believe they're sheaths, you can take them right off altogether and just leave uh, Deadpool without without the guns, without the swords altogether. Uh, there doesn't really seem to be a section where you can have him holding the gun. Um, be nice if they kind of had some section, some third area where you could clip the, the the rifle. At least it would be out of the way. So you know, if you didn't have him holding it, you didn't have to just have it just lying around. And lastly, his one other accessory that he comes with is the one that he was in package with, and that would be this little side pistol. It's all silver. Some nice detailing on the pistol itself. And luckily, the pistol does have a holster on the side of his leg. I'm not quite sure what I would have him posed with. Between him and certainly other Deadpools we've gotten, and just Marvel Legends figures as a whole, there are so many rifles to choose from that even if you don't want to use these particular weapons, uh, getting Deadpool armored up is probably not going to be that much of an issue at all. Um, as a whole, I think he's a good, solid figure. I think, let's get, you know what, I'll get it out of the way right away. I, I find his one issue is, he's got a really big head. A really big head. Sculpt is nice. It's it's a slight departure from some of the other Deadpools we've gotten. Um, far greater than the uh, the Marvel Select Deadpool that we got. A current trend, it seems also to give him this little hook at the end of his mask, which is a nice touch. I like that. I like the stitch work that they've also put in the mask. Now, Spot doesn't own the two-pack Deadpool, and I think it was Deadpool and Warpath, because I think it worked itself out that to get the, the regular uh, X-Men Warpath that was in all red, I think you got a darker colored Deadpool, and then to get a red Deadpool, I think he came with a dark colored uh, Warpath. I can't tell whether it's the same figure, as I unfortunately don't own that figure. I would, would love to get that original red Deadpool, but um, I can't tell you whether it's the exact same figure. From pictures, it does look like it might be the same same figure used, or certainly the same sculpt used. But I would say from size-wise, either his legs re seem really short, or his head seems really big. The coloring is nice, the nice gray with the bl the black. Kind of really just breaks up the figure. It's not just one solid color. Also, I like the straps and the belt that they put on it. Complete with the Deadpool logo down below there. Um, by size comparison, I was discussing before the uh, the Iron Man, if you had seen the review of that. Let's just bring Iron Man in. I guess by size-wise, they're roughly about the same size. Deadpool might be just a hair taller. Which, I guess, maybe Iron Man wasn't a short, stocky... I mean, he is still a short, stocky figure, but size-wise, they're not that far off from one another. Deadpool's head is just... It just he's got this such a melon head, though. But sculpt on the face is nice. I like even the red eyes. That's a nice inclusion also. It's a really good Deadpool. I don't know if I even really prefer the Toy Biz Deadpool over this one. This one does have personality. And again, makes me think I want to get the, uh, the red costumed Deadpool as well. Maybe I'll see if I can find him. Uh, Articulation-wise, he actually has quite a bit of articulation, surprisingly. Uh, his head is actually not on a ball joint, which I thought initially... His head does move up and down via a hinge. Unfortunately, with the hinge, it kind of makes him look like he's got a big gap in his neck, this big old gash. But the head rotates up and down, rotates left and right, no problems whatsoever. When you get to the shoulders, the shoulders have the articulation in the shoulder blade area, which you can move the, the arms forward and out. And then the arms themselves are on a hinge and socket, so the arms rotate out and back and forth. Rotation in the bicep. He has a really pleasant double bend in the elbow, which I really like so much. I'm so glad they're incorporating that with their Marvel Legends. A hinge and rotation in the hand. He has the upper torso crunch. Rotation in the waist. <sighs> and then as for the legs, we've got the hinge that goes out. Now... I didn't talk too much about it in the Iron Man review, and I really should have, because it's it it drives me crazy. He, they have the hinge in the leg, which allows the leg to move out. 
Uh, unfortunately, you can't move the leg forward unless you see right here in that hinge socket, you see where the black groove is? That moves the leg out. If you want to move the leg forward, you have to take that hinge and you have to rotate it forward. Then you have to rotate the thigh back and that will allow the leg to move. The leg will move any direction that that hinge is facing. So if you want the leg to move forward, that hinge has to be facing forward. I, I wish there was some way, I wish they would just change that up. It's always been a frustration of mine with that, the way that those hinges are set up. But he still has a rotation in the thigh, a nice pleasant double bend in the knee, and a hinge and rotational foot. Uh, I really like this. I really like this Deadpool. He's not, for me, a traditional Deadpool, again, because Spot really doesn't follow a lot of the more recent titles of uh, the Marvel Universe. But I like him. I like him quite a bit. Um, having the inclusion of the swords is always a must. I'm glad they included those. He, does, he has a lot of weapons, which is also something that Deadpool should carry. And while I don't necessarily say that Deadpool is one of my favorite characters. If you had asked me way back in the 90s, the late 90s, I would have said I would have loved uh, Deadpool. He's one of my favorite characters, but as with Wolverine, he gets so reused nowadays that I just my appeal in him just isn't as what it used to be. Still though, I love this figure. In fact, he might easily be my favorite figure so far from this wave and very well could be my favorite figure of the wave once I finish reviewing all the others. Deadpool, I'm going to give him a 9. I'm going to give him a 9. Despite the fact I really still don't like those hinges, uh, Deadpool, I'm going to give him a solid 9. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends. And I believe, again, this is the X-Force Deadpool. My apologies if, if, it, if he isn't. But we're looking at the gray costumed Deadpool. As always, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Spot's got more reviews of Marvel Legends heading your way. See you guys next time.